Hi everyone, I'm Sir Mel and welcome to Mathematics in the Modern World. If you are new to my email channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button for more notifications. Today we're going to discuss the sum of consecutive numbers which are classified into three terms. These are counting, even, and odd. When we say sum of consecutive counting numbers, it should start at from 1, 2, 3 to fast positive infinite. When we talk about the sum of consecutive even numbers, these are the numbers that ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. On the other hand, if we're talking about sum of consecutive odd numbers, and these are the numbers that ends with 1, 3, 5, 7. So obviously, today we're going to learn the different sum of consecutive counting even and odd numbers. So, let's start with problem number 1. Let us read together, find the sum of consecutive counting number 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus and so on plus 89. So, in order to solve this consecutive counting number, let us have this formula. We have n times n plus 1 over 2. So, what is n? So, n be the last term or number in the sequence. In this problem, the last number in the sequence is 89. So n is 89. Then we're going to use the formula. So that is by substitution. And 89 plus 1, that is 90 by simplify. Then right after, we're going to multiply 89 to 90. And that is 8010. And right after, we're getting the quotient. And the final answer is 4,005. So, again, in solving a consecutive counting number or the sum of consecutive number, let us consider this, this formula, n times n plus 1 over 2. By knowing the last term or number in the sequence, then do the little part of arithmetic by substitution, simplify, multiply, and you can arrive with the final answer as 4,005. So this is how we solve the sum of cons consecutive counting number from 1, 2, 3, 2, positive 89. Okay, let us have the second problem. Find the sum of the first 67 consecutive counting number. So here, when we say first 67 consecutive counting number, it means from 1 to 67th counting number. So meaning to say, we're going to add from 1, 2, 3, to the 67th place counting number. And it so happened that the 67th counting number is also the same as the 67 number from 1 to 67. So, in short, we're going to use this formula. The nth times n plus 1 over 2, where nth be the last place of number in the sequence. So in this problem, the last place number is 67. So and be the 67. So therefore, we're going to use the formula by substitution. We're going to add 67 plus 1, that is 68. And we're going to multiply it by multiplication. So we have 4,556 over 2. Then the quotient is 2,278. So again, in solving this kind of problem, the first 67 consecutive counting number simply get the last place number in the sequence. And then follow the formula, do the little arithmetic, and to arrive with the final answer. Okay, let's move with the third problem. Find the sum of consecutive counting odd number. So this time, odd number starts from 1. 3, 5, 2, 235. So in this case, as you notice and evaluate later, that if you're going to add 1 plus 3, it gives 4, which is a perfect score of 2. And if we're going to include 5, 1 plus 3 plus 5, that is 9, that is the perfect square of 3. And go further, if we're going to include 7, that is 16, and that is a perfect square of 4. In short, our formula will be n plus 1 over 2 to the power of 2. 
where n be the last term or number in the sequence. So in this problem, the last number is 235. So n equals 235. You're going to bring down the solution, I mean the formula. Then by substitution, we have 235 plus 1 over 2 to the power of 2. Then add it. So then we have 236 over 2 to the power of 2. Then the quotient is 118. And lastly, you're going to square 118. So the final answer is 13,924. So again, if we're going to solve the sum of consecutive counting odd number, we're going to use n plus 1 over 2 to the power of 2 as our formula by simply looking for the last number or term in the sequence. And in this problem, that is 235, substitute it, simplify, then get the quotient and square, then you will have 13,924 as the final answer. That is the number 3. Now let's move with problem number 4. Let us read together. Find the sum of the first 457 consecutive odd counting number. So in this case, let us not be confused about the first 457 consecutive odd counting number. This 457 doesn't mean that the last number is 457, but rather that the last number must be in the position of 457th consecutive odd counting number. So in short, it means from 1, 2, 3, 5, 7 to the 457th place odd number is the problem or we're going to find the sum from 1 plus 3 plus 5 till to the 457th uh, place odd number. So here we're going to use this formula. Just simply square the nth or the, the last place number. Okay, so example, if we try to evaluate 1 plus 3, that is the first 2. Okay, the sum of the first 2 consecutive add, which is 4. Since there are 2 place, 1 plus 3, the 2 place, so square it, which is 4. If we're going to include 5 and 7, we have the, the sum of the first 4 consecutive odd counting number, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, that is 16. You just simply square the 4th place, and that is 16. So here, the end be the consecutive as odd place, uh, last place number in the sequence, and which is 457. Then use the formula, substitution, then square it, that is the final answer. So, here is the process on how we able to find the sum of the first 457 consecutive odd counting number. So, let's proceed with the problem number 5. Find the sum of consecutive counting even number. So, this time, consecutive counting even number. Okay, let us try first to evaluate. When you add 2 plus 4, that is 6. So we need to say we're going to use the formula n over 2 times n over 2 plus 1, where n be the last term or number in the sequence. Okay, so we're going to use as n as 574, bring down the formula by substitution, then we have 574 over 2 times 574 over 2 plus 1. Find the quotient by simplification. So we have 287 times 287 plus 1. Add then multiply. So we have 287 times 288. Then our final answer is 82,656. So again, take note. If we're going to find the sum of the consecutive counting even number, you should use this formula. N over 2 times n over 2 plus 1, where n be the last term or number in the sequence. That is problem number 5. So let's move with the number 6. Find the sum of the first 48 consecutive counting even number. Okay, so let us be clear. Uh, be clear uh, let us clarify 
what is the first 48 consecutive counting even number. So the number 48 here is doesn't mean that the last number is 48. Rather, the last number is in the position of 48 place. So meaning to say, we're going to add 2 plus 4 plus 6 until to the 48 place even number. So this time, we're going to use the end times n plus 1 since and be the last place even number in the sequence. So obviously, 48 is the last place even number. So we have and equals 48. Follow the formula by substitution. Add 48 plus 1, that is 49. And then multiply it. So the answer is 2,352 will be the final answer. Okay, so let us move with problem number 7. Find the sum of consecutive counting number. This time, the consecutive counting number does not start with 1, started with 1, rather starts from, uh, from 22 and ends with 99. So this time, we're going to use this formula. Small n times small n plus 1 over 2 minus capital N times capital N plus 1 over 2 where small n be the last number or, ter or term in the sequence and this problem is 99 and the capital N be the prior to the initial number in the sequence so meaning to say the starting or the initial number is 22 so we know the preceding number before 22 is 21 so we have n equals 99 and capital N is 21 Bring them the formula by substitution, then add 99 plus 1, 21 plus 1, we have 99 times 100, and 21 times 22 over both by divide by 2. Then we're going to multiply them, so we have 9,900 over 2 minus 4, uh, 462 over 2. Then let us have the quotient, we have 4,950 minus 231. Then right after that, the difference is 4,719. That is how we able to get the final answer of the sum of consecutive counting number that starts not from 1 but starts from 22 and ends with 99. So take note the formula n times n plus 1 over 2 minus capital N times n plus 1 over 2 which small n be the last term or number in the sequence and capital N be the number prior to the initial number in the sequence, the preceding number, okay, before the initial number or the starting number in the sequence. Okay, so let's move with the number 8. Find the sum of consecutive counting odd number. So this time starts from 45, 47, 49 to 101. Yes, we can compute it by calculator, but it takes time. Rather, we're going to use a formula. So, n plus 1 over 2 square minus capital N plus 1 over 2 square, or to the power of 2. This time, the n is the last number or term in the sequence, and capital N be the number prior to the initial number in the sequence. The problem is, is it 44? Okay, if 44 is your answer, you are wrong. Rather, it should be 43. Why? Why is it 43? Since we are talking about the sum of consecutive counting odd, odd number. And 44 is not an odd, rather an even number. So, 43. So, we have N, 101, and capital N is 43. Okay, bring down the formula, and by substitution, we have here, 101 plus 1 over 2 square minus 43 plus 1 over 2 square so add and simplify it so we have 102 over 2 square minus 44 over 2 square then we know 102 divided uh, 2 is 51 44 divided 2 is 22 then square the quotient then we have 2601 minus 484 so the difference is 2117 would be the final answer. So, in solving the sum of consecutive counting odd number, which does not start with 1, 
we're going to use the formula n plus 1 over 2 square minus capital N plus 1 over 2 square. Okay, let us have the ninth problem. Find the sum of consecutive counting even number. So, again, it starts from 22, 24, 26, and ends with 60. So, again, still the sequence does not start with 2. So, we're going to use this formula. N over 2 times N over 2 plus 1 minus capital N over 2 times capital N over 2 plus 1. Okay, so let N, small n, be the last term in the sequence and capital N be the number prior to the initial number in the sequence. So the small n obviously is 60, but the capital N is not 21. Rather, it should be 20 because the problem is the sum of consecutive counting even number. So we have N equals 60 and capital N equals 20. So bring down the formula by substitution. So we have 60 over 2 times 60 over 2 plus 1 minus 20 over 2 times 20 over 2 plus 1. Okay, but the quotient is 30 times 30 plus 1 minus 10 times 10 plus 1. Add then multiply. So we have 30 times 31 minus 10 times 11. Okay, the product is 930 minus 110. Then the difference is 820 will be the final answer from the sum of 22 plus 24 to 60. So again, in, in finding the sum of consecutive counting even number, which does not start with 2, we're going to use n over 2 times n over 2 plus 1 minus capital N over 2 times capital N over 2 plus 1. Okay, so let us have the summary. So it deals with counting even and odd. So in solving the sum of consecutive num counting number, we're going to use n times n plus 1 over 2. But if it talks about place, we're going to n times n plus 1 over 2. Uh, we're going to use that. And if an even, if the sum it talks about the place number, of even counting number we're going to use the n times n plus 1 okay and finally when we're talking about odd we're going to use the n to the power of 2 if the problem needs about the place place a uh, num uh, place of the last number okay so that is now the different solution formula and process in solving sum of consecutive counting even or odd numbers. Thank you and God bless everyone.